It's once said that the only way to predict the future is to create it, which is awesome. You have to now be an environmental scanner. The concept of a futurist was also sort of very Nostradamus, you know what I mean? He's sort of like, I know what's going to happen in 50 years' time. That's not the game anymore. The game is about pattern recognition. What's going on around me and how can I draw conclusions for my business about that? You know, take for example if you're in real estate and you're selling houses. Why are dads turning up at school drop-off now more than ever? And what does that mean for when you run your open houses? Uh, what people are looking for with where they live? We've got people telecommuting now. What's that trend going to mean? We've got increased communication through Facebook, LinkedIn, MySpace. So now you've not only got to manage your inbox, you've got to manage your texts, plus your missed calls, plus your voicemail, plus your Facebook profile. What does that trend have to do with the way you market? Amazingly, because people are now reading information in context. So shoving flyers in people's letterboxes or emails in people's inboxes is not going to work. The rise of the trusted advisor. So if you're in financial advice, what's that mean? It means now it's less about whether you're the smartest person with the best system that'll make me the most money. Right now, do I trust you? And do I trust you to look after my needs and match them? So this ability to understand what's going to happen next is about looking at the patterns around you and trying to extrapolate conclusions from them. It is anti-scientific method because scientific method used to be I have a genius idea, now let's find evidence for it. That's gone. What we've now got is data analysis that we're trying to interpret. So knowing the ability to know first is going to be key to your business um, being positioned uh, in a way that's future-proof so that you don't get out of date. So you've got to know.